Getting back to work on food plot two. This is the one that's shaped like an L. We shaped it like an L so we could put bedding within the L for doughs. For the progression of this food plot, be sure to check out food plot two, part one, and then see how we got started. Today we're bringing some big equipment in here to clean up this area, to get ready for planting and everything for some lime and fertilizer. We gotta get rid of all this brush and all the stumps. So I'm lucky enough to be able to have, to bring big equipment in here. My dad owns a construction company, so he's gonna bring his back over here and clean this all up. So uh, this is a food pot that we have shaped like an L. So we will be showing before and after pictures of the work done today. Well, we got all the stumps pulled and then all the brush we buried some brush over here in the corner and uh, it is extremely wet so we're gonna be needing it to dry out and hopefully a good month will dry it out because this is gonna be a fall pot we don't need to plant until July late July even so then we'll be bringing some equipment in here to smooth level it off and stuff so um, hopefully it really needs to dry off and have an open like this hopefully as long as it's gonna depend on what the weather does the mosquitoes really suck out here right now. They're horrible. We're working on this food pod. Like I said, uh, it's been raining a lot. Um, it, the last week, since last Sunday, it's Saturday now, but last Sunday it rained like three inches, and it hasn't, hasn't actually rained since then. So we're hoping, hoping this just trend happen, or keeps up for us for a little bit. So today we are cutting this, these trees. This is some trees that we had down around the side of this food pot. We got to get cleaned up. We're going to burn the brush over here, and uh, so you know, burning it over here in the food pot, and then give that little bit. That's good for the food pot. We don't need to plant this anytime right away. This is the end of June. We're at the end of June right now. The next time we come up, we're going to clear this all out. This will be all done. We got a lot of it out of here already, and I'm hoping that this is dry so we can contour it and everything to where we need it to be and then start liming it and everything we don't this is going to be a fall pot so we don't need to plant it till end of july early august but you know for the first time we really would like to get it in there so this is where we're at and there's just hope it stops raining this is the very north side of the pot we did a lot of this by hand because i don't didn't want to rip a, a lot of stumps out here because i wanted to wreck other trees so uh we wanted to keep some some trees in here for shade and everything just just a little diversity so uh, but we did clean a lot of this i don't know how much i caught of the video but it was we do have piles of brush here that we will be burning so uh yeah a lot of this was it's, it's about 80 i think it said 84 degrees right now and humid so uh we've been working in the mornings last two mornings we did it got a lot done over here in this so, but the major thing right now is to, for this, like I said before, just to let it dry out, so. A couple of weeks ago, we did a video on us putting up the vine from Scrape Fix. Now, I've done mock scrapes in the past, and really I've had no luck with them. And uh, now, with since using this, I've had this up for two weeks now, and I've have already had pictures of small bucks, licking on this branch and I've never had that done before so I'm really excited about this product with their velvet formula so we'll, keep, we'll let you know how well it keeps working but like I said so far we're really excited for it Be sure to like this video, subscribe to our page, 